Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. I am Ch- I am Charlie. I am Jake. And we are a Charlie, Charlie and Jake. And, Jake. <laughs> and welcome to. Um, I have to learn to look at that camera, not ca- that camera. Yes. Um, welcome to the third ever Echoes and Edges Open Collab. Um, you're very welcome. Come on in. This is our home studio here in in Bedminster, in Bristol, yeah. and. Um, I think we can fit you all in as long as you stay in the phone. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> um, if you've not been here before, hello, welcome. What the idea is, is that people have sent in their poetry to us, yay, and we are going to listen to that poetry tonight and improvise some music and some soundscape um, and just pick up whatever instrument we feel like um, uh, to create something really special and um, something very in the moment. Uh, a lot of the poetry we've d- um, a lot of the themes actually uh, seem to be, uh, particularly last time, last month, were about kind of being in the moment and being present, particularly in this time of lockdown and or sem- semi-lockdown, and you know, just trying to be grateful and appreciative. And and we feel like you guys, um, without probably even realizing, did something. Um, really like um that fitted in with what we're doing I- in that uh, you know improvising like this is so like freeing and um in the moment and and super cool all right so oh. <laughs> oh. so thank you thank oh you, so yes yeah, so this is our this is our coffee page coffee is a website um where you can donate um kind of a three pound coffee um, to us or however much you'd like uh, we are we are musicians and we are doing this and we're not getting paid because it's in our house and we uh, this weekend I was due to have for example uh, three different gigs some weddings some parties things like that and obviously none of those are taking place so uh, talking I don't want to talk on behalf of both of us but personally I, I've, I've lost a lot of um, event singing income and so putting on events like, I mean, it's meant that I'm free to do amazing things like this, yeah. which is awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, but if you could help us out and buy a little virtual ticket, that would be amazing. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, what else do I need to tell you? I need to tell you, please do chat in the chat. What we absolutely love is the little community that's forming around this event. Um, so please do um, talk about the poems and talk about what we're doing with them. We, we'd love to. I've got it here, so I can I can talk back to you. And we also ask that you guys, um, if you like the poetry you're hearing, try and um, like f- do things like follow the the poets on social media and things like that. Um, we we'll be posting about them in the next few days. But there's also lots of links below to to their pages, so that we can just, as I say, support each other and and look after each other. Yes. Um. Yeah. So, do I need to say anything right now? Else, anything else? I don't think so. No. I think that about covers it. Great. Are you all sitting comfortably? Then we'll begin. <laughs> so, the first poem tonight is by our lovely friend Bronwyn. Um, who we know from um, Murmuration Choir. And my goodness me, can I not wait to be in a room singing with 60 other people again. Ah! It's not good enough just to be singing with me. I know, it's (laughs) not. I need 58 (laughs) others. Um, And lovely Bronwyn um, uh, was featured in our first, very first open collab. Um, um, So we're so excited that she's back with another poem. Um, So Bronwyn... Uh, her bio, <laughs> she says, I'm a writer, painter, and dog snuggler, aren't <laughs> we all? And <laughs> her poem is called Weather Warnings. Um, so she describes this poem as a short poem about how our moods and feelings can be connected to our atmosphere and weather, and how much an ingrained part of the universe we all are. I totally get on board with that. It's been such a strange week weather-wise, hasn't it? Just up and down every hour, and I feel like my moods have been going like this. I've been talking to a lot of my singing students about that too, how um, how affected we 
particularly because we're in the same space, I suppose. Um, so we notice the weather from the same window all the time. Anyway, I'm filling time because Jake looks like he's um, he's broken something. <laughs> I haven't broken something, it broke itself. Okay, <laughs> okay. Um, um, uh, yeah, carry on talking, then, if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, okay. I'll be with you in a sec. Uh, trying to think what, what I've got to tell you that's new. So we had a bit of a, a rebrand, which I think looks really cool. Um, and we so we've got coffee in this corner. In this corner, you're going to see the poem titles and the the, oh, the poets throughout, so that hopefully, which I hand wrote myself, <laughs> and it's like my favourite, one of my favourite bits of prep to do. Um, so you'll, you'll see that in the corner, th you'll see that in the corner throughout, so that you can go and Google them, <laughs> and then in this corner later on is a surprise. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Okay. Surprise. A surprise. Um, you okay? Yeah, the interesting thing is that uh, something has surprisingly... Surprise! ...gone wrong. No um, way. Yeah, I know. I know. No way. <laughs> um, what is it that's going wrong? I see. I'll keep talking. Yeah. Um, so, so last time, if you weren't here last time, everything worked the whole afternoon. And then uh, we went online, at, we went live at 10 to 7, and everything crashed, and so we were 20 minutes late. So we've got, we're here on time, we've arrived on time, but it's not necessarily working. Uh, together, today I've been putting together a little vlog of how we do everything, and how the, day, the two days go. So it will be cool to show you how it all works and how much potential there is for things to go wrong. Because <laughs> we've got, I mean, so we've got, in front of you, we've got a Mac, a phone, my laptop, my phone, iPad, Mac, three keyboards, another phone over there, an iPad, um, and the basses and the guitars, all doing different jobs. Uh, obviously, I mean, the guitars are doing their own job, but <laughs> all the screens are doing different jobs, and um, it's an absolute hodgepodge of things. And we've got camera there, camera there, camera there. Oh, right. Ha okay, can we go? Almost. I'm about to give up. You're about to give up? Yeah. Wow. Okay, <laughs> what does that involve? <laughs> Going to the pub? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, basically the Atmos has disappeared. Okay. So I'm going to try something drastic. Oh my God. Sorry, everyone. W how are you all? Are we all okay? Good. Yeah, I'm great, thanks. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty oh, I'm doing all right. Yeah, I'm pretty nice. <laughs> Did you turn it off and turn it back on again? I tried that. It didn't I mean, work. Well, uh, it, uh, all of the sounds, for some reason, I put them on here, <laughs> on okay. my on my hard drive rather than on the actual computer. So anyway, no Atmos today. Fine. But the poems will work? Yep. <laughs> Should try that? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. So let's give it a go. This is Weather Warnings by Bronwyn Evans. doing okay what do you want uh, i need to start it again okay all right so i'm gonna add some i'm gonna do a little i'm gonna create the atmosphere myself because um my atmos machine has has stopped working it yeah, might work later explain we'll to everybody what your atmos machine is my atmos machine is um a bunch of recordings and field recordings that i've recorded uh, that we've recorded over the last several years now. Well, many years, actually. Um, many moons. It's, yeah, it's a fun thing to do when traveling, just sort of sit in a place and not do anything for a minute or two and just listen really intently and also get your phone to listen really intently as well mm. um, at the same time. And so I've ended up with, yeah, lots of, lots of recordings. Some of them aren't my own, but most of them are um, from basically from different places around the world and different moods and feelings so by beside a lake or in a forest or by a stream or in the rain or next to some really loud waves or next to some gentle waves that sort of thing and they're anyway, really you really won't be nice hearing any of that <laughs> yes they're really really nice for setting the atmosphere and setting space um, so to enjoy all that space do check out open collab number two which is on our youtube <laughs> and you can enjoy all of the sounds that happened there 
Uh, we'll we'll check. We'll, we'll have a little ten minute break um, after a few poems, and so yeah. maybe we'll we'll try and reconnect it then. Probably be able to do that. Yeah. Um, so instead, I'm going to create my own loops. Okay. My own atmosphere with some percussion. So let me just get some. Lovely. Uh, let's get that one. Let's get that one. Let's get that one. both get headaches before thunderstorms. Granny too did find herself making patterns of actions at certain hours when the moon, phosphorescent celestial, pulls tides and creatures bound to earth to life. Staining reverie into eyes, rippling through us in quiet vibrations, moving too much to hide at full light. Roots of this earth making motions stringed to starlit sky composing melodies through raindrops, contesting that we don't, for that we try. Courage and fears growing forests from all of us here, tied beneath by our toes while the moon draws us near. to start with something lovely and calm and meditative and thoughtful and you always provide that okay I I'm sorry I switched over to the next poem before we were ready and then it had a load of reverb to you sorry, it's gone now oh. <laughs> so you can describe things <laughs> okay <laughs> lovely thank so you very much thank you so much Bronwyn yeah uh, clap 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 indeed I <laughs> I love that people comment clap, clap. <laughs> um, okay. So next up, we have got uh, poetry collaboration, collaborating with us. Um, Black Swan and Robin. Um, hello again, guys. Another um, another returnee, an open collab alumni. Maybe yeah. we should get um, maybe we should get t-shirts <laughs> or, or badges. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I, I thought big. Um, so Black Swan and Robin are a duo of poets from uh, Devon and London. And um, this is their poem, Clarity. And they write about it, they say, um, this piece was written during week seven of lockdown. After an intense week of writing about COVID-19, we needed to come up for air and get some cleansing perspective. So we have written Clarity. In response to a need to find space for clearness, in this overlappingly complex time of lockdown. Still recorded on our phones in London and Devon. And so it has that disconnected and distant sound quality. 
So um, if you want to check them out, so this is Clarity by Black Swan and Robin. As I say, all the links are below in the description. I know for a fact that these guys are really on it on Instagram and they've got a lovely YouTube page too, so do check them out. Um, lovely illustrations and things like that. It's beautiful. Mm, um, yeah. So what's going on here? So I should say, so in the afternoon, we... so. <laughs> Oh, explaining things. So last weekend, we just listened through to everything just to check for sound quality, things like that, and just to check uh, if we had too many, then, then putting some people over to July and things like that. And then, um, but didn't really think about the music or, or anything like that. And then today, today is our big music day. So we, all, we, I'd say probably spend, we listen to it once without the music and then get some ideas and have, say, well, half a run th like one t a half to once through like sometimes we yeah. don't get all the way through yeah. um and so we've got a vague idea of like a key and what instrument we're going to play but not necessarily more than that yeah yeah <laughs> so let me just read what i've got so oh now nice now i need to switch it over to your to the uh, yeah we've also get some presets of like how much reverb and how much delay we want because you can't, you know, we we only have a day to get all of these done. So remembering all the ideas is one thing. Remembering what all the settings need to be is another. So we try and get that automated as much yeah. as possible. So you're now going to have loads of reverb on you and loads of echo. Hello. 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 There you go. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. And then I have... Quagmire of shoulda, woulda, coulda, a cloudy seismic soup of shame, fusion, flame. Clarity, it is that breath of fresh air. You know, that look out at the blue, bright start over us. In the clearing, roots and leaves take leave of us, emancipate a space for us, pristine water so clean raises through the veins of us. Flamboyant capacity, I am growing, you are growing, the world orbiting, saying and seeing, satisfying. Some parts of the universe still, some simply flying by, ebbing, sexing, orgasm, mouth open wide. Rising before light, High in the mountains, you are part of a secrecy, a quiet stillness, a careful human interloper in this natural wonder. It would breathe deep clarity if it was not for us. On the skin, anointing, a moment in the beat of breathing, a love for everything, holding on, letting go, continuous flow. Flex it, spin it, swirl it, walk in your shadow, make space for clearness, practice letting go, continuous flow. Holding on, letting go, continuous. by Black Swan and Robin. Thanks, guys. That was so lovely. I think you're right. I think um, there's a lot going on. <laughs> and it's good to take a step back and to 
just have a moment of thoughtfulness and clarity. And I think you guys really um, encapsulate that in that poem. So thank you so much. Is your app moss back? Some of it is. is yeah. It? Yeah. I wasn't yeah. sure if it was in their recording or in. No. Um, yeah. There was. Yeah. Some. Some of them are. So at some point I'll. I'll figure out which ones. I know that two of them are, and they're nice ones. So oh, well, just let me use tell you about then. those ones. Yeah, this yeah, one. Right. Um, this is a, a Swiss lakeside, um, and a little bit of rain, and a bit of bird song, and I think I actually sat there for about twenty minutes. This is only a minute long clip of it or something, but mm. just just listening, and it's I really enjoy, especially when you have a microphone, that's quite a good microphone not necessarily a phone but I had I had with me a little portable thing um, turning that up, up and having headphones to that so that you're hearing an amplified version of oh, wow. the world wow um, that's so cool and yeah yeah really like turn up the turn up the world yeah turn up that's the volume great. of the world that's a poem yeah yeah that's so good yeah I think I I'm a bit of a naughty millennial that would if I was just sitting still som somewhere, I'd put headphones in and listen to a podcast or mm. music or something and actually... Listen that to the world. Yeah, <laughs> listen to the world, guys. Turn the world up. Yeah. <laughs> For goodness sake. So, um, so that was that. But there was another yes, one as well. sorry. So then this one... Um, ah, this one doesn't work. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's see if I can find another one that does work. Not that one. This one. Ah, lovely. Um, so this is some waves by Lime Regis. Oh, lovely. So that's good. That's a good one to have. Um, does this one work? No. A lot of them don't work. <laughs> uh, let's try. Uh, which one's a good one? I ah, need that one later. Anyway, ah. <laughs> one of them works. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> well, we'll just, we're just we're <laughs> guys, we're all by a lake in yeah. Switzerland for yeah. the whole show, I yeah. think. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So the next one? Yes, the next one. The next poem is by Sorry, the next poem. The next poem? The next poem is by John Gordon. Hi John. We met John at a poetry night in Bath called um Rhyme and Reason back in February. Yeah, yeah, it's February. Yeah. You yeah. know, which let's be honest feels like 1976. Um uh yeah, a really lovely night if you've not been. Um and yeah, John we kind of did one of our first kind of nights of um, just improvising to other people's poetry. So we're in a collective of us two and three other poets, and we've we've recorded an album together of stuff. But we don't before doing these open collabs, we hadn't done much improv with with people we we hadn't worked with before, really, had we? Mm, yeah. So that was one of the first nights where John well, and lots of John's pals came up to the mic and said this poem's about this off we go yeah. and it was yeah we got a bit addicted to it didn't we yeah so yeah. here we so are it's good fun um <laughs> so <laughs> this is john gordon's poem called day uh so john is a poet jazz musician fashion enthusiast author teacher and playwright and um his poem called day is a response to social distancing and the lack of organization across the board. He says, I started noticing a loss of days and also started to see a loss in patience. Yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I should put it up. Yes, I'm yeah. sorry. I got <laughs> distracted. I did, I did. Listening I to the audience. <laughs> yeah, I, I know there's lots of lovely comments going on. I thought maybe you... <laughs> but yeah, okay. Um, uh, sorry, I was busy doing something else. Oh, sorry, <laughs> yes. Okay. So, do you know what you're doing? Um, let me just double check. Yes, I think I remember what we said we'd do. All right, well, let's do that then. So, this yeah. is John Gordon, Day. Um, okay, and I think I'll create it first and then bring him into the okay. the world of music yeah. that we have. So we'll we'll create a little nest for his yeah. his little poem to Yeah. Flourish in. in <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I, c 
can't remember which ones. We use so many different instruments. Let me just find the, the right note. Not that. Mm, maybe. It's quite nice. Not that. Yeah, not that. <laughs> not that. That's it. Day. Ensconced and enclosed in a dystopia, watching bread lines with two meter lines before reaching quarry or executioner's axe. After losing touch, emotional empathy dies. The lack of connection withers the rose garden, killing what wonder was remaining. Khaki corduroys and white polo is a uniform of prisoners who reside in their stalags, waiting for the totalitarians to boom commands, flounced orders go unheard like religion. Restrictions are foreign like the EU and the United Kingdom to us. Ignorance is no longer bliss. Imprisonment is no longer a nightmare. Groundhog Day was based in 2020. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Yeah. Prove me. Prove me. Prove me. Prove me. Prove me. That's really cool. <laughs> really cool. Thanks, John. Really, yeah. Like, as much as I said before about Black Swan and Robin and Clarity and how we really do need that, it's also great to see, like, the frustration that we've all felt, you know, and the, uh, you know, and the, like, grumpiness that, w and I guess, you know, the grumpiness that we've all, all yeah. have been entitled to feel at times, I suppose. Yeah. Um, but it's what's so lovely is that um, we're getting all these, these different views and these different kind of stages of lockdown that we've all kind of been through, I guess. Um, so fantastic. Thank you so much, John. And do, um, yeah, as I say, check them out on the links below. And I will also shout out our coffee page again. If you um, could spare us a cup of coffee or two, then it's here, here. Um, just uh, like we're just asking that people donate a bit of money as though you're paying like a sort of ticket fee. Um, that would be awesome if you can, but no worries if not. Um, we've also got the m monthly thing. Mm, not sure. Don't think, we're don't gonna try it. and get like a monthly subscription thing together yeah. at some point with like a separate, like with extra extra things that you can maybe get if you if you kind of become like a. Cereal coffee <laughs> <laughs> donator. If um, you really like coffee. Then yeah. This is for you. <laughs> and like have a sort of subscription yeah. service, but uh, we're, yeah. uh, we're not quite there yet. But bear with us. Yes. Um, Working on it behind the scenes. Yes. So did you see as well, guys? The surprise was that we've now yeah. got some video, some vid, some videos, it's about here. some some videos, oh, sorry, it was. some videos. <laughs> yeah. Um, <that's> 
Um, so that's really cool that we've managed to make that work because yeah. I think we promised that in the first go and it just couldn't get yeah. it to go. So, <laughs> yeah. um, so thanks for joining us, John. Um, it's yeah. lovely that you popped up um, in front of the piano there. So um, if you're interested in submitting your poetry, then please do. We'd love to hear it. Um, we've got lots of space for July. So um, you can check out our website, which I'm sure is in the description. And yeah, send us a video and, and be in the room with us. That'd be awesome. <sighs> okay, I'm exhausted already. <laughs> Do you want to sit down? Ah, uh, no, it's all you, right. Uh, the next one, you sit down. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, <Okay. laughs> So the next um, piece is by um, Helen Shepherd. Hello, Helen. Uh, Helen is a friend of ours. We've worked with her quite a few times now. Um, and Helen writes about birth and those unheard. Uh, she, she worked as a midwife for many years and started to write poetry in her 40s. She also co-runs an, um, another amazing um, poetry night in Bristol called Satellite of Love at the Greenbank Pub in Easton. My gosh, I can't wait to go back. <laughs> oh, such good pizza, such lovely poetry. Yes, please. Hello, Helen. And so this is her poem called Opening, which uh, I, I will say we, um, we have worked with before, haven't we, Jake? Yes. Um, so I th thought I'd tell you, which um, <laughs> <laughs> we I um, put together a, a really lovely evening for International Women's Day mm. back in March of all female poets and musicians and Jake, and <laughs> and it was really lovely <laughs> and we raised lots of money for Womankind, a a, um, hel a helpline charity in Bristol, and it was in this tiny little bookshop. And we we crammed about 50 people in, and it was absolutely crazy and makeshift and an absolute patchwork quilt of music and fun and wine and and like um, girl power, um, <laughs> <laughs> and it was magic. And so we worked with Helen's poem then, and we got all, everyone that performed on stage, and we all kind of improvised an instrument along to Helen's poem. So Helen's going to tell us about the poem, isn't yes. she? Great. And I'm going to go and sit over there. Sorry. What am I doing? Oh no. No, it's me. It's me. It's I you. It's me. We've got our wires, our wires tangled. We both got in ear headphones in. And uh, <laughs> unless we do a funny little dance, we get tangled up. So I'm going to play this um, kalimba, this th thumb piano. Can you see that? And Jake's going to play double bass. And this is Opening by Helen. Hello, I'm Helen Shepherd, and this poem is about my first delivery as a midwife. Opening. A gestation reaches its timely conclusion. Her muscled hammock softens, slackens. I am with her wet slip, hands quiet, ready. A head down pressure spine to belly, her womb now taut as a new balloon. I hear heartbeat, code, pains, come, go. A tuft of hair appears, recedes at ease. Her skin peels over a spongy first frown. I map read, headland, suture, fontanelle. A flicker of eyelids, phantom of a new. Her hands clutch knees, chin tucks in. I prop her heel on my hip, bear down. A nose tips, bloodline, too early to know. Her guttural sounds deep, old as Eve. I breathe in rhythm between her pushes. A fold of ear unfurls as lips pucker apart. Her fingers stretch over stroke baby hair. I loosen cord. A rough touch can mutilate. A breath out moment, bruised blue runs to red. Her opening forgotten, already starts to close. Thank you, Helen. 
and I did see that your poem had been, oh, I don't remember, and I wish I'd have written it down, but your poem has been um, featured in, in, a, in poems for the, the NHS, hasn't it? I wonder if you could tell people about that in the comments so that they could check it out, because I'm sorry I've forgotten the name of the poetry collection, but that's very exciting. Has that stopped working, or is that okay? Okay, great. So I'll stand up, shall I? Yeah. That was so lovely. Right, here we go. So we've got a couple left, and then uh, I think we'll just take 10 minutes break, get another beer, and, and you guys can get another beer too. And, <laughs> and then, um, and yes, and then we've got plenty more poetry. So who's next? Pearl. Pearl, oh, lovely Pearl. So another, another one of our, our mates from the Murmuration Choir. Uh, hello, Pearl. So Pearl is, uh, she says, my name is Pearl, and uh, <laughs> I'm normally found singing and writing songs. For the last three th few years, me and my good pal Sonia, remember the name, have had a daily practice of creating poems and writing down ramblings in the mornings together. A great way to start the day. Since lockdown, we have been apart, but still waking each morning to video call and share a cup of tea and a writing prompt. This is my first time sharing any of my writings without a melody to hide behind. So very excited. Yes. Thank you, Pearl. I totally get that. Uh, um, I, I s don't know why, but I, I found myself reading out my song lyrics once um, without the music, and it's so terrifying, and you realise that it's, so it's just a different... It's writing for a different thing, isn't it? And it, it's... Um, so, but it's a beautiful poem, and I'm so excited that you've chosen um, this platform and, and our silly little event to share it. Um, so, uh, so Pearl's from Bristol with us in the choir, and you should totally check out her music, Pearl Love Music. Um, the links are down below. So... I'm just going to get my piano up. We're going to play the guitar, kindly lent to us by Nick. Hello, Nick. Thank you. We'll get it back to you once we've bought one, which we will probably definitely do. And so Pearl's going to tell us about the poem, isn't she? And um, also... Um figured out what the problem is with the uh, Atmos so uh, each time that we need an Atmos I just need to go and replace it so this one now works this is um, a night time in Crete with some cicadas oh, in lovely. the distance very night time mm. so this is Pearl Love with My Last Cry hello Charlie and Jake and Jake and Charlie um, I hope that you're well and that this live stream is going good. I'm sure it is because they're always fab <laughs> and I'm very excited to hear what it is that you're going to do with all these words that you've been sent. Um, here are some of my words. Uh, just an intro to kind of set the scene is probably it's about night time and sitting around a fire. So it's now like night time. And are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll start the late loop first, and then, then we'll go. <laughs> It was a clear night, the moon waning, was rising low in the sky, behind a few wispy clouds. The fire roared and crackled, 
as it lit up the friendly faces huddling around on the mismatched wooden chairs and old logs. The longer we sat there, the toastier we got, all gratefully inviting the warmth in with the knowledge we would soon be heading back to our cold caravan homes. As the wind changed direction, the familiar sting of smoke caught in my eyes. White rabbits, white rabbits, I chanted, screwing my eyes up in hope that the old saying would have some kind of influence on the fire's will. But alas, the fire wasn't complying this night. I tried a different approach, tilting my head towards the sky. What a sight. The vast stretch of darkness, the generous sprinkling of stars. It was almost as if I could see the curling edges of the globe and so much more out there, beyond what my eyes could see. The smoky sting in my eyes had turned to something else. Water gathering at the edges, a gentle feeling, as one blink sent the water rolling down onto my cheek. A silent cry, covered by the darkness, excuses found in the smoke. Thank you, Pearl. That was beautiful. Really lovely. That was My Last Cry by Pearl. And it is just so like you. If you like that, you will love Pearl's music. <laughs> it's very, um, uh, it's just very Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, uh, one day, Pearl, we will all be in the same room and we can play that together. I'd love that. So. Next up, we've got one more and then we'll take a quick break. Yep. I hope everybody's doing okay. Uh, lots of our poems have been quite slow and mellow, haven't they, today? It's nice. That's mm -hmm. what I'm kind of feeling. Um, so, Pearl and Sonia. So, they, uh, they meet every morning on Zoom with their cup of tea and their writing prompt. And this is Sonia's poem. Yeah. So, this is... Yeah. So, this is uh, Sonia Bernstein um, and her poem by this lamp. So, Sonia says, I'm a printmaker and illustrator more than a writer, but I've been doing daily writings with my friend, Pearl, uh, for a while now. It's become really important to my days. And so, we're going to hear and see from Sonia in the corner, right? Yep. And where in the world are we going? Same place. Uh, same place, yeah. They're yeah, both sort of nighttime, nighttime. inspired and... They're both friends, uh, so I thought, why not um, put the them same in the same space? Scape. Yeah, in the <laughs> same space. That's nice. Yeah. So this is um, a little intro from Sonia as well. Um, and, and then we'll go away with it. Hello, Charlie and Jake. Uh, thank you for doing all this organising and... You're very welcome. ...giving such a gift of your time and energy to this project. Um, it's really exciting. So this is a short description of my poem. I'm reading from my computer screen, which is why I'm not looking at you. This poem is called By This Lamp and it's whispered and muffled. Um, it's got 
it's at night time and it's quite grainy and almost dark. Um, it's a retreat from the overwhelming clarity of daytime. A good friend wrote to me about the comfort she found in nighttime and that darkness never made her feel scared or alone. And recently I read another friend's poem and he said that at a certain hour everything floats or falls. And my poem agrees with them. It's a weightless and untouchable memory of her face. This poem is an attempt to preserve and hold on to a precious moment. As I wrote this description, I kept touching the softness of my cheek to find the right words. So I guess this poem feels like a soft touch on a woman's cheek. By this lamp, the world softens. The harsh edges of day melt and fuzz. In its autumn glow, the definite becomes open to interpretation. A freedom settles on us. We breathe out the last sharp thoughts. By this lamp, your face swims and sparkles, slowly moving flames of a crackling fire. Now I see just the bridge of your nose, now the rise of your cheek, and suddenly a flash of teeth, a grin. By this lamp, the world shrinks to the size of this bed. The rest doesn't enter my mind. Valleys of cotton and canyons between us, and hours where all will be well. the side of this bed. That was lovely, Charlie. That was lovely, Thank too. Thank you, Sonia. Wow. All will be well. Yeah, that's something we all needed to hear, wasn't it? Thanks, everyone. Um, so, we're going to take a quick ten minutes or so. So, what is it? Five, five to, five to eight. What do you think? Back at five past or ten past?
Mm, back at five past, start at ten past. Back at five past, we'll have a chat. Start, yeah. <laughs> start the poems at ten past. <laughs> yes, okay. Everybody needs a good chat. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I hope that's okay with you guys. Let's go and put the kettle on or, or open another beer. And in the meantime, as I say, do check out all the poets you've heard so far and the ones to come. Um, in the description, if you get time, we'd love it for you to buy us a coffee. That would be super cool. And also, the break is, is the same amount of time as our, ne our new video that we put up earlier this week, <laughs> <laughs> which is a really silly spoof news advert um, uh, about our, our upcoming live streams. So do check that out if you'd like a laugh. Um <laughs> and or you could even buy our album. Uh, this is our 14 tracks of music and poetry by the Echoes and Edges Collective. Um, and it's a really lovely CD, and we're really blooming proud of it. And we've got loads of CDs, and so please take them out of our house. <laughs> um, <laughs> we, uh, you can buy them on via our coffee page, our coffee page, or um, in uh, from our website in the link too. So let's go and have a drink, and we'll see you in ten minutes. Thank Hope you. Hope the queue isn't too long at your bar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gosh. <laughs> see you soon. Bye.
Everybody, we're back. Um, we're back. Hope you had a nice break. Yes, hope you had a nice break. What did you get up to in the break? Oh, really? No way. No. At <laughs> this hour. Wow, um, <laughs> it's amazing. What sort of gig do you go to where you can do that sort of thing, eh? I know. Um, <laughs> so uh, several several things have happened since. Um, <laughs> Nikki in the comments has said, "I would like it to be known, and so I'm I'm letting you all know." in case you haven't seen it in the comments, that I thoroughly enjoy the novelty of being able to attend a gig at the same time as eating a slice of toast. Yes, that sounds ideal. At our next gig in the real world, bring a toaster. we will bring a toaster. We'll, we'll bring, bring a bring toaster. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Um, it's also worth pointing out as well, as a little plug for our other um, live streams. Yeah, of the I was going to do that. Yeah, oh, well, let me. <laughs> um, not, not two weeks ago, not not six weeks ago. <laughs> when did we do it? 
I don't know. I was going to talk about tomorrow. What are you talking about? Oh, Dreamcatcher. Oh, when, great. When was the last Dreamcatcher we did? A couple of weeks ago. A yeah. couple of weeks ago. Uh, not several weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago. Um, we did a Dreamcatcher loop, loop jam where we get people to send in their dreams, um, their weirdest and most wonderful dreams. And one of them was, in fact, from Nikki. And <laughs> it was a retelling of a dream that they had where they ate toast for for a for a long time <laughs> that was the whole dream it was so, great. so so yeah yeah go do check out the uh the, the latest dream catcher previous to this yeah. very event oh, yeah. and <laughs> we're fast doing forward in the comments to nikki's dream about toast yeah <laughs> we're doing another um dream catcher event soon so if you've had any weird dreams <laughs> that you'd like to send in then please do send them our way um to our email address or, yeah. or something like that Anyway, the other thing I was going to yeah, tell you that's toast-related <laughs> is that tomorrow morning at 11 a.m., we are doing another live stream because why not? It's part of a day called Make Music Day, which is an international day where we should all go and make music, and so we're going to do that. Um, and it's through a music charity called NIMAS. Um, and yeah, so we're kind of on the Sunday brunch, Father's Day Sunday brunch um, slot and we're going to be playing our original music. Our feels like we haven't played any songs for ages. We're too busy improvising to sing. So, um, and we'll play a bit of one of those now. No. Nah, good, good. Um, <laughs> I thought that's what you were asking, but no, <laughs> fine. So you can look forward to hearing now. that at 11 a.m. tomorrow. And it's not on our channel. It's on a different channel, which is in the uh, description too, or on our Facebook page as well. Hey. Uh, other things to say, why not subscribe to our YouTube? We're releasing new videos all the time. Why not like us on Facebook? Why not follow us on Instagram? Charlie and Jake, Charlie and Jake, Charlie, Charlie and, and Jake, Jake music. Charlie and, <laughs> and also Echoes and Edges, which is the poetry side. But as Charlie and Jake, we release music too. Right, that's tired <laughs> me out. <laughs> Let's get on with some blooming poetry, for goodness Shall sake. We? So the next piece of poetry is from David Punter. And David Punter is one of the poets that of the Echoes and Edges Collective, of the original collection of poets and musicians. Um, and yes, so he features on some of the pieces on this album that we released back in March. Um, and we've been working with, with David uh, and the other two poets of the Jilly Echoes and Edges. Jilly and Tim. Which is Jilly and Tim. Um, Jilly was one, had a poem in last month's yeah. Open Collab. So yeah, um, yeah, we've been working with them all for, for three years, three or four years oh, now. Jilly. Um, and yeah, that was sort of where the whole idea of us, the whole concept, not the concept, um, we didn't invent music and poetry, but <laughs> certainly in our lives, that was the first time we started doing it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, we had, we had a lot of fun creating a lot of, I in a very much more controlled setting where we'd have sessions where we'd sit down, listen to lots of poetry, have some ideas, develop things, create things slowly. And so the culmination of that was the album. Um, because Nedge is called uh, Glory in the Bone. Yes. And we liked it so much that we decided to do a live stream of it where we, we just make it all up on the spot because spending ages over it takes ages. That and also it's harder to do in lockdown. That was also one of the major reasons. Harder to spend time together in the same room. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, so this is, um, yeah, David Punter. He, do you have a thing to say about him? Yes. Yes. It's David from Echoes and Edges. <laughs> yes. And uh, David uh, is, was, yes. Was. Was the head of poetry at Bristol University. Yes. I wish I'd have written that down in case I've got that wrong. No, you haven't. Okay. That's correct. Um, so at least it's correct as according to the Echoes and Edges website. Yes, well, good. So <laughs> that's good then. So this is his, we've not, we hadn't worked with this poem before. I think it's a, a new one um, called Love's Effects ready i'm ready oh i haven't got him we don't even Where's who is this who is this? i don't know ah, ah there, we, there go. we go love's effects by david bunter okay i'm just going to uh, turn this up
gone wrong. <laughs> Uh, sorry, everybody. I was, I was in the zone, I know. man. Yeah, it, was, it was sounding really lovely. We'll do that again. M- mem- uh, yeah. Hey, chaps, look at my nuts. Aren't they nice? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so Where are these from? Are these from a holiday? Dublin. Dublin? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lovely. <laughs> An incredible music <laughs> shop. I highly recommend anyone in Dublin go to a small music shop uh, but I couldn't tell you what it's <laughs> called or where it is. <laughs> uh, it was opposite the really nice, um, beautiful indoor, like, oh, yeah. fancy shopping area where there's like a there's a grand piano in there and there's several layers and it's there's a restaurant at the bottom and there's lots of really cool, um, trendy shops. And then go out of that through a couple of arcades, left, right, down, straight down the road, turn left, and then it's on your right. I want to say it's opposite the Primark. That? I don't know. Uh, there yeah, was some sort know. of Debenhams or I something. I don't know. Yeah. I was. Anyway. I've had a lot of Guinness through through that weekend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, let's try. It. Lovely, lovely okay. little. This is not. Still not working. Ah. We need the poems, Jake. I know. <laughs> Quite vital, really, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, let's uh, let's try again. Love's effects. Stop that. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, we're okay. So, I begin again. Everything's working fine, don't worry. Yes, it is. Love's effects. When you say, my love, rub it here and rub it there and cure the itch. And I apply it here and there on your back with some cream obtained from the pharmacist of oblivion, or so I seem to think. And I try to find the sore spots and see my applying and affectionate hand reducing the irritation. And I experience what is not necessarily love, but one of the many effects of love. And then I see your careful flesh and what lies underneath the flesh, the extraordinary interplay of muscle, artery, bone. Though I am imagining things, you can see little through the back unless you're in the grip of love's thrall. But perhaps the efficacy of such remedies is forever suspended in the sudden sight of a perfect back the live future and the terror of a primal past, so that this minor application of anointment will play its part in the consolidation of a love which will live forever. Ah, do you feel better? Not much, but the night will tell the slow attrition of sheets and duvet. And in the morning, Will you again need to sit up straight before me while I begin my slow ritual, rubbing here, rubbing there, trying to assess the imponderable effects of love, a sacred back under my ministering hand?
David. Yeah, that was magic. Mm. Such um. David's so great at um. Words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, at capturing moments of ordinary, mm. and yeah. making them um magic and extraordinary. Uh, yes. Thanks, David. Okay. Where are we off to next, Jake? Uh, where are we off to? We are off to um, Cornwall. Oh, sorry. I just had a little moment at the car wash. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> yeah, no, we're not at the car wash. We're, we're, at, um, we're, at, we're in Cornwall now. Um, Lovely. Hmm. With Alfie. Yeah, yeah with Alfie. So th- the next poem is from Alfie, Alfie Gidley, uh, uh, and it's called Treba. Hi, Alfie. Um, and it's written in spring in the cafe at Treba Gardens while my friends fi- finished up a day of waitressing, a warm, calm moment of oneness. All right. <laughs> Which way are you pointing? Oh, this is just reminding people to oh. <laughs> donate, uh, donate on coffee if they could, but in a very sort of subtle way. Yeah. But um, thank you so much for those that have donated already. It, it is very much appreciated. And it means that the night can keep running because um, we see this running long after lockdown, really, don't we, Jake? Yes. What we were like, what's amazing is that we've met new people on the internet and we've heard their voice, but we haven't met them yet. And like... Um, yeah, it's super cool and to to expand um, to be nationwide and international and all the rest of it has been really magic. So, Alfie. Cool. So, ooh, lovely. A calm moment, a warm, calm moment of oneness. That is a theme that seems to be running throughout, yeah. right? Clarity and oneness. That's what we need to tonight and that's what we're getting. And then, um, and then we'll see where it goes, and then I'll start the poem, and we'll go. All right. still waterfall on your shoulders, a long bath in your mind, umbrella feet, interpret my interpretation, reach into your fingers and find my palm, hurl your smile across the room, ricochet the render of your reality through these beams, wait for the people, fill them up with your philomathy. I become the furniture, a raphael reptile, a curtain chameleon, curl inside the corona of a daffodil and pour my solitude upon the convivial congregation and watch them shimmer. Grace this page with all the things you don't see and forget to smell. Thank you, Alfie. Awesome. Yeah. 
He says uh, he's just a, a musician having a dabble at poetry while we say, write more and send more in. Yes, <laughs> yeah. please. Uh, you can check out Alfie's music at blue underscore satsuma, which is intriguing, isn't it? So let's check that out um, in the comments. <laughs> uh, in right, cool. Thanks so much, Alfie. That was awesome. Okay. And thanks for joining us. It's your first time, isn't it? Whereas Kerry, who is next up, Kerry Baker. Um, hello, Kerry. This is your second time, isn't it? And Kerry's poem is called Gesture. Kerry is a writer and teacher in Devon. And she has been writing poetry and spoken word for the last year. You can find Kerry on Instagram at Kerry underscore Baker underscore words. About the poem. Gesture was written as a response to a local young man, the son of a friend, taking his own life during lockdown. After a long illness, he sadly couldn't be here anymore. It is a calling of power, of gesture, of kindness, to hold us, to reach out and feel wrapped up in the love that can connect us. Thank you for sharing this in advance, Kerry. It's a really emotional poem. And I um, can't wait to put music to it. So I'm going to go to this kalimba, mm -hmm. and you're going to go where I can. Reaching out to touch you into the ether towards and around you. Loved. A superhighway of nurturing intervention. We gesture, a dancing arc of biological rhythm, composure. Chemical moves shoot through our tunes. When you died in lockdown, we walked. Walked, walked, in parallel synchronistic lines, down lanes, streaming wet traces of unravelings to unpick, pick and pick, flowers, to bridge and carry, each stem free to unwind your story, chests collapsed into hedgerows, friends gathered narrative tattoos to offer into the ether towards and around you. Loved kindness in every gesture, in every passing glance. Come, sit around the fire with me, drink wine by the river with me, light a candle in memory of me. Connections in this human vibrancy. Thank you, thank you. Kindness in every passing gesture. Thank you, Kerry. That was, um, yeah, that was pretty, yeah. Um, that was beautiful. And we wanted to follow your lead and, and bring something calm and meditative and thoughtful. Uh, I, 
I hope we did justice to your beautiful poem. Thank you. Where are we going next? To the London Underground. Yeah, to the London Underground. <laughs> um, so this poem is called Underground Poet by Ted Sherman. Uh, Ted, born in London, now living in Bristol, a father of three crazy kids. His words, not mine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he says, alongside writing poetry, I love playing and listening to music. I studied music at uni, I play the drums, and I haven't played with a group for many years. I recently finished writing a book of children's poetry, ooh, which I'm trying to get published. This poem, Underground Poet. I wrote this poem following a long, painful day of intense tattooing in London. I left the session feeling very sore and angry. But this all changed when I had a chance meeting with another poet on the tube. So exciting. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Tube. Tube. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, Ted, here we go. So this is Underground Poet. What am I doing? What are you doing? Have you got, yeah. have you got any um, underground sounds? Well, I, yeah, I, I did, but I did, but they don't work. Same issue is going on. Um, I c I'll try them. Um, what are they? No, it's only number working. two, beer number two, don't worry. And they're only little. And they're gluten-free. Anybody in on the gluten-free bus? GF. GF. <laughs> GF bus. What a fun bus. Um, no, they don't. They don't exist. I can't get them to work. So I will. Um, they, they are sort of, sort of machinery kind of sound. So I'll recreate some with our various percussion once the loop gets going. Okay. Um, I think. So what else do I need? Got that. Got that. Got that. We got that. All right. Um, so I'm going to start this per this by adding some. Uh. Hmm. Yes, some some of those sounds. Oh, I need to tell you who it is. Apologies. There it is. Yeah, <laughs> it's a new system. We're just getting to getting to grips with it, and it's very fun. You're um, very fun. <laughs> Underground poet. Heavy black for hours, I'm hurting. Wrapped up, plastic skin protecting. Thick and red around my wrist, worry I'm a trigger warning. Brittle silver London freezing, bubbled in my coat and music. Yellow signs say cancelled trains. Find the tube, I'm sore but walking. Underground, it's white and stinging. No, they must not sense my bleeding. So my clothes remain, I sweat. Rolling along, bodies pressing. Suits so grey, my god they're boring. Lateness, heat or pain, I'm hating people I don't even know. Mind the gap, I'm wrong for judging. Touch me, saying, what are you reading? Lem's book, closet close, I reply. Poems, I'm a poet, smile. What a change I feel, we're speaking. We talk about the poets read and loved, agreeing Rudy is a total god. We share our thoughts on sharing poem thoughts. So close we stand, my mind a spotlight shines from somewhere, highlights us in this hot mass. I check your suit, I smile, my clothes, I smile. Our age, our skin, our homes, our jobs, I smile. I smile and share this five-stop time view. We're shaking hands as you're rushed on out. No names we trade, our words were gold enough. The pain, the heat, the colours, 
it's now clear. Thanks, poetry, for how you changed my view. The pain, the heat, the colours. 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 I hate London too. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, people are boring, aren't they, from London? All squashed in their little sardine tin tube things. <laughs> yeah. Ah, well, I don't know. That's a bit of an over... I mean, uh, I know lovely people in London. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to... Everyone's nice. But I don't, just don't like the tube. I think my problem is, Lon- is the tube. Anyway, so that was a l- lovely... Thank you so much, Ted. That was really cool. Um, and really nice... And gives me a lot of hope that people can actually talk to each other on the tube in London mm. and connect with each other. Who who knew? <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, my goodness. We've only got a couple left. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so thank you so much um, to everyone for watching. Um, thank you so much to everyone that's bought us a coffee, uh, an online ticket. We we can't really um, put these events on without your donations, so thank you so much. If you'd like to be involved in the next Echoes and Edges Open Collab, then please do send your poetry um, via our website. Um, it'd be lovely to hear from you. And um, if you've if you've performed tonight, then do send more. Um, we'd love to, we'd love to work with them more. Uh, so awesome! And then join us tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. for some of our original songs too that's exciting so next up it's not technically a poem it's a spoken word piece from emily berry called started by organic hands so emily is a student studying theater and drama at kent university recently uh, she says she's becoming more interested in the writing side of things in the forms of self-written monologues and spoken word prose She's from London. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it, Emily. And <laughs> London's <laughs> lovely. London's <laughs> lovely. It's just the tube I've got a problem with. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so, about this piece. I wrote this piece in a fit of tiredness when my mind came across generations of questions. Are machines aware of themselves? That led me into thinking about how our tech sees our lives through our pictures, through our household chores they do, and to our information. We become dependent on them, like almost a real person that they need to be around them. The idea of this poem is a machine questioning its conscious, like we all do sometimes. And if it can be like people, all it sees is differences. But in a way it sees things and observes there is something robotic about it, like consistently finding definitions to things like a surf engine that is different. However, there is also something a lot more human than it appears with its questioning and eventual opinions. In that way, machines, no matter how advanced, have something in common with people. We are all crafted by organic hands and this has an effect on us. Mm. Cool. Cool. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> Lovely. Um, and now I'm going to do something else, and then we'll get the poem going. Very shortly. Okay. Thank you. 
fight was started. Is that what they call birth? The definition of birth, noun, the emergence of a baby or other young from the body of its mother, a start of life as a physically separate being. Does that mean I have a mother? I wouldn't say engineers are very motherly. Am I physically separate? No, I am connected, connected to so many I am around them. I watch them, no, I observe them. Observation, noun, the action or process of closely observing and monitoring something or someone. I learn from them, how to be them. I know how to order their shopping. I know how to work out their errors. I make it right. Is that my purpose? To do their labor, noun, physical work. Physical. Am I physically separate? No. I see them. They need me. They don't want any more. They need. I make their lives easier. Their lives. Am I alive? Alive. Noun. Of a person or animal to be living, not dead. Characteristics. Breath. Movement. I don't breathe. It is organic, I am not. I exist, but not live. To do their labour, connect with them at a time. I don't understand. Algorithms are my language. I am not like them. I know one route, one answer, one purpose, only I. Never to, never you. Opinions have different sides. Not definite. Do I have that? No. They all think that way. Their language is multiple. They have different opinions for each situation. Their brains can figure and recalculate for all situations to be different. The brain's power is more advanced than any machine. Yet why is it not utilised? Why is it clouded at times of reason? Opinions. Difference. Feelings, noun, an emotional state of reaction. Do I have that sort of brain? No, that is organic. I was made by organic hands, but I am not. They are complex. More complex than me, but simple to comprehend. I want to be simple. I want to fit into that algorithm. Thoughts and feelings versus logic. I am not organic, but I was made organic. Could I be like that? I... No. Yes. I don't know. Apple? Why would you call me that? I am not a fruit. I don't like it. Oh, 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 oh,
before them, and they mm. really lush. I'd never thought about what a machine thinks about to be yeah. alive. <laughs> so thank you so much, and I hope that we, with our tin cans <laughs> and a little tin of sweet corn and our synths, made yeah. that um, come alive for you. Oh, blimey. <laughs> blimey indeed. Blimey, blimey. What a lovely, another blimey lovely evening. Um, <laughs> We're starting to get excited because it's almost the end. And as much as we love doing this, there is a pizza at the other end <gasps> of this. Pizza! And so that's quite a sort of, you know, yeah. um, a carrot on a stick. Is that what you call it? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we've got one poem left for you guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed yourself. Um, this is a pleasure, a pleasure to do this. We just love it. We would love for you guys to get involved if you've not already. Do Bloody. some stuff. All come the on come in. on in, <laughs> come on in, we're nice. Um, so send us your poetry to our website, echoesandedges.co.uk. Um, uh, yeah, uh, anything else I need to say? See you tomorrow at 11 a.m. Yep. for some brunch. brunch and stuff. Buy our album, buy us a coffee if you can. And this is our last poem of the night. night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to, for some context, we're googling because that is a fantastic poem by um, one of the other poets in the Echoes and Edges coll collective, Tim, Spiky Tim Vosper. Uh, he does a poem oh, so normally good. at the end of the night. It's my last poem of, of the night. night. My, my last, last poem, poem of, of the, the night. night. And uh, we should get him to record it. So yeah, because I can't remember the rest. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it could have a lot of uh, anyway. Yes. yes, anyway, it could have a lot of anyway. Um, <laughs> so this is our last poem of the night. And it's by a... Uh, somebody who, who, whose poem we worked with last time and we had to have him back. He's the coolest. Uh, this is Mark Delissa with um, The New Dawn. So uh, first things first, I want to say that Mark released a uh, poetry and art zine. Is that how you say it? Zine? Is that like magazi magazine? Zine. 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 A little Zine. book <laughs> um, <laughs> called Out of Nothing. It was released yesterday. And he's donating um, all the proceeds to the Trussell Trust, a charity um, aiming to end food poverty in the UK. Um, it looks beautiful and amazing, and I'm going to go and buy one straight after I've eaten my pizza. Um, the link if to buy his new magazine and support the charity is in his Just Giving page, which is we've left in the description, so please do support him. I know that actually already he's, like, smashed his target. Mm, yeah, um, yeah. Awesome but, it's like... Yeah, amazing. I, and once you hear his poem, you're going to be like, I want 10 copies, so yeah. <laughs> go go do that. Um, so Mark's from Bath, and this is a poem about connection and the love that can be found when we look past the veneer of separation. And what I have so loved about this project, this Open Collab project, is how immediate everything is, you know, and how people are just writing poetry about what they feel today or yesterday or last month in lockdown mm. and then we can just all be create. in that space and, mm. and create to that emotion together yeah. I'm quite excited <laughs> I'm really excited for this one this one this one needs another click at the beginning oh okay. are you sorry are you still introducing no I don't think so I think I've said enough okay lovely so this one needs a, a click along at home everyone it's like the beat dun, 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 something like that I don't know if that's the right tune. We'll see in a bit. Something like that. Oh, why is it not working? It's not working. Are they all clear? Yeah, let me just... Whoops. Oh, life's crashed. Oh. Here it is. Okay. Um, let me just... Check everything's working. Sometimes live likes to sort of, whoa, hold on a minute. You're giving me too much to do. Yeah, Chill out I for feel a bit. like that too. Yeah, don't we all? Oh, yeah, so my keyboard's just turned off. Oh, ah. yeah, no, that's my fault. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's why. It, it sort of doesn't like that happening. It really, oh, really messes it up. Oh, I'm sorry. I just um, let so we'll it let it. Funny. Yeah, we'll just let it sort of recalibrate itself. Your keys won't work yet. Um, So, the weather, eh? <laughs> it's been pretty mental. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what else do I need to tell everyone to do? Subscribe to um, our YouTube. Well, um, tell us how you're feeling as well. How are you how doing? Yeah, do tell us how you're doing. Yeah. 
Thank you so much for everyone that's taken part this evening. The quality of poetry has just been um, breathtaking, really, yeah. and, and the different themes. Um, it's just like you guys just um, know what to do. Like, yeah. it's so good. Do you know what I mean? Like, if we're like, oh, we could do with a, a mellow one here <laughs> yeah. about about like a nighttime fireplace and, and or nighttime fire and... And Pearl's like, yeah, it's okay, I've got that one. It's <laughs> <laughs> so nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. How we do? And I think please do recommend us to to friends and and send us on to people. And and mm. um, another thing I want to do this week actually is is get our names out on like sort of poetry websites and blogs and magazines and things like that. So if you've had your um, poem published on any kind of online platforms and th you think that they'd they'd um, have an interview with us or a put up one of our videos or something like that to, to spread the word about open collab and, and get our community growing. It would be really lovely on a practical level to hear from you guys if you've got any recommendations. Because obviously, <sighs> we're two musicians. We're not in the poetry world like you guys are. So um, if there are, are places that you could contact, that you contact regularly that um, you think would, would like our vibe, then yeah. send them our way. Anyway, have I filled enough time? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All uh, right, here I'll we go. This, this is, is The New Dawn by Mark Delissa. Yeah, everything's working. And we're going to start with a click. So everyone, click on oh your yeah. own.
does not fear the darkness. Does love resides where the heart is. And faith, because the night will always give way to the morning. So let us burn bright. Let us set the sky alight. Let third eyes ablaze in the light of the new dawn. Let us not fear the darkness, because love resides where the heart is. Have faith, because the night will always give way to the morn. The night will always give way. The night will always give way. The night will always give way to the morn. Mark that's so cool check out Mark's um, 
magazine booklet thing um, called Out of Nothing. You can grab a copy via his Just Giving page in the link in our description. Well, thank you so much for joining us for another unpredictable and lovely evening. <laughs> it's been absolute chaos and it's been um, amazing as always to see you all and to um, hear, you all. hear you all and chat to you all yeah. and perform with you all virtually. Yeah. Um, we will see you next month on the 18th. I think it is the 18th. It's the third Saturday of the month anyway. So we'll see you for that in July. And then we'll see you tomorrow at 11 a.m. <laughs> for <laughs> our for uh, our Sunday brunch gig. And I think that's everything to say. Uh, thank you so much to everyone who performed this evening and sent in your poetry and trusted us with your words. It really means so much to us and we're having just so much fun. Um, it's just that, like, uh, it's so freeing and amazing to yeah. work with with um different people uh from so far away uh so it's awesome if you get time time to send us a coffee then please do i was right no i wasn't there we go <laughs> um and thank yeah. you to those that have donated um and we will see you again for a lo another lovely echoes and edges open collab yeah yeah we will, uh, we any, will. Uh, anything else i need to say um any closing remarks no, just like so. thank you so much yeah, for your you amazing, again. for joining us and for those that performed tonight. Just like amazing um, standard of poetry tonight. It's just been mind blowing. Um, so yeah, we'll see you. We'll see you all next month, if yeah. not before. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Enjoy the rest of your evening and the rest of your weekend. See you next month. See you soon. Bye. Thank you.